like we stated earlier on this week. The release wasn't even here for the Air Jordan 1 Retro Obsidian slash UNC Leather, and he was already over the shoe. And I'm going to be honest with you, trust me, a lot of retailers were today too. Including myself. <laughs> you can go ahead and take a look at this footage. This just kind of chronicles the morning of events that happened at our local finish line in my area because I am stationed right across the hallway from them. So just to kind of give you some backstory on it, uh, they did have certain pairs that were raffled, but you had to come pick them up by 12 or they were kind of releasing them first come first serve. And I think they only had about 20 pair so you can just go ahead and watch these little clips and enjoy my commentary this is what's having to happen with finish line apparently they're gonna do first come first serve so this will be interesting if i can get more footage as they uh will open up later on today trust me i will but kids feel like we pretty much are already sold out just immediately as we open we're done to with the raffles and the very few employee pair pairs that were able to be gifted out or pretty much given out and I didn't even get a discount for mine, but we'll see what happens. And as you can see, the line is there. So I think Finish Line has about 20 pairs of the Air Jordan 1 Obsidian UNC Leather. And people are in line right now. It is 11.15. I don't think they open until 12, though, for those pairs. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, it is now 12.02, which means people are still waiting in line to be able to get a pair it is what it is right this is the name of the game these days so they finally finally starting to let people in close to 1205 you see this see the employee sitting there like uh yeah we don't let y'all in one at a time <laughs> goodness goodness Actually, somebody sold their pair instantly from right to somebody in line once they were able to get in. Crazy, crazy. We know all of the buzz, all of the noise, the drama, it was around this particular shoe the air jordan one obsidian so we're gonna get right into it thanks guys for tuning in my name is tj we're back with another video talks with tj i appreciate you all if you are subscribed make sure to engage in the comment section like always if you're not subscribed hopefully you like what you see you can check out my other video i did the day before on actual release day for the on foot the full in-depth look and then i do plan to do another video specifically because i have gs pairs to look at the quality in comparison for this the bretto one and then the hyper royal one since i do have all three in my collection so uh stay be on the lookout for that maybe labor day that can drop i'm not 100 sure maybe labor day that can drop but this shoe right here now we know that there was tons of buzz there was tons of hype about it for my particular store i think i did mention this but pairs were very limited we only got sorry i have the ac that is like blowing my hair out we actually only got 12 pairs in and so when you account for the limited amount that you can have for employees and then you actually have raffle pairs there are only so many that are left for customers to come in and get and we actually had customers walking in after 10 like hey can you know we pick up this shoe and we're just like these are accounted for spoken for i don't i don't know what to tell you you know so i know so many people they will often say well i don't get why youtubers will constantly do the how to cop how to reserve videos it's because they are very beneficial there are some people who still don't understand we live in this era of sneakers where doing everything via apps technology that's where we are you reserve your pairs long before the actual release date hits because otherwise you're going to be in a line for first come first serve finish lines line you guys saw in the in the previous clips um they had a line outside of their store actual Foot Locker so people started lining up two hours before three o'clock which means 1 p.m. people were already lined up so that they could get pairs now I'm gonna go into the back end story of how certain things were handled in relation to parts of the release when it came to in-house stuff all I'm gonna say is uh, like my dude motivation it kicks that sneakers can bring out the worst in people especially adults and grown men 
and that's unfortunate but that's exactly where we are in life so this shoe i mean the hype was there it, it definitely was the god what is going on with my hair right now <laughs> the hype was there it was sustained for a little bit but as we got closer and closer to release date people either copped got their w's or they took their l's you saw the price start to drop that is a very standard thing that occurs now in the market i don't think that's that much of a shock the shoe drops in value on the secondary market once people get their pairs in hand now we know this is from the newer trend People will just dump their pairs immediately for every little bit of profit, whether it's $20 to $60, and then they're done, they're out when it comes to that release, versus others who may sit and hold pairs. I am being just a patient person. I'm not in any hurry, so I'm just kind of sitting on the two pairs. One, I tried to make sure that I secured for someone, but they were lucky enough to hit on sneaker tap, so I'm just kind of sitting on that. And then shout out to a uh, new ally and buddy <laughs> uh, who was able to secure me my own six and a half, just in case I wasn't able to secure mine through my pair for the employer raffle. So shout out to uh, him, but this release guy, so I and of course people were copping for the flip no one's dumb right and i don't knock it get your pair to rock get your pair to flip have some cash to save pay off debt go travel do whatever it is that you want to do but now now what's gonna happen because we i mean i got tired of the phone calls in the store do you have them not for sale anymore no not really we don't because they're they're all accounted for People, I mean, how I, I saw people saying how they did or how things went in their look area. And I am always curious to know how things went in your area, but I think you all mistake that for wanting to then tell me I am wrong about how the release went. PSA of common sense. When I'm giving you a recap, it's of my local area, not yours, okay? Your market, your area can probably do a lot different. There are so many other YouTubers I will actually see on here Well, they'll walk in every single release weekend and everything's sitting in their stores. That's just your market that seems to not give a care, <laughs> okay? For a lot of other markets, things sell out. Even in like a smaller market like myself in Fort Wayne, things still sell out, so. Ones were gone. I, I did try it on the sneakers app and it went from pending to you already know if you don't get like a charge instantly on your account. You didn't win them. Uh, so that was the case for that. Uh, I'm not hurting necessarily by that, but recap, just give you a quick census. Uh, finish line, I know they definitely sold out. Uh, I don't know, they were a little bit weird too because they had people saying they, you know, they actually had employees come out to say, hey, we want these pairs. And then, uh, or employees were, were inquiring what pair, what sizes people wanted. People were saying the sizes. Of course, some of them were money sizes. And then the employees were like, oh, well, that's my size. Well, that's the size I have. No one's caring about what size you have. You should have already had something in house to make sure that certain employees that wanted pairs were accounted for. And at least you securing a pair for yourself as an employee is all you can ever ask for sometimes and all you can hope for. And if you get lucky to get more, then you just do. But I don't know. Y'all are a trip. That's all I'm gonna say. People are trips. And then you always have the people where you try to prevent the resellers from buying, buying up all the stock. Because once again, I don't knock resellers. It's not like I haven't resold a pair or two in my time. But you will have those people, especially like for Kids Foot Locker, they'll try to come in and buy all the GS pairs and then not a single kid, woman that can actually fit the shoe, that wants the shoe to rock, will be able to rock it. And that's the unfortunate part. So we, we do our part to try to prevent them from doing that. That way if uh, people come in, like actual customers, paying customers, we know that they're gonna go after it. They want it badly. We try to make sure that they come in for their raffle, they get their name on the list. And you know what? They secure their pairs. And then whatever happens to be left over afterwards, that is a first come first serve basis. At that point, it's free game, but why is it that sneakers can really freak out the worst in people? People are thirsty, thirsty for these shoes. I'm curious though, you guys did let me know on the early look I gave you how you fared with this release. So hopefully you were able to cop any pairs you wanted for whatever, to rock it, to stock one, to flip it. I don't care what it is you chose to do with these. Now, will these go up in price down the line? I kind of think so. I think these could have a pine green effect and Chris Young and I kind of talked about that. Shout out to him, one of my subs down in the Kentucky area. Uh, we were talking about that, that this could kind of be like a pine green where it does okay. They don't restock it. 
and then you look a year later and the GS pairs are maybe going for north of 400 which is you know 300 400 which is a nice flip for a GS pair you only pay 120 for these in the first place now if you're looking at you know men's pairs who knows what those will do but I just I kind of say be patient if you're asking me what to do I say be patient if you're looking for just a quick couple of bucks go ahead and flip it uh, I'll be patient at the moment I'll figure out what I want to do there were no people really super close to me past one that I was really on the lookout for when it came to this release so that being said I am just kind of chilling out <laughs> with the additional pairs that I have but thank you for tuning in to this video try to not make it super super long you can let me know what you thought about the release how it was handled I know people went through a crazy debacle on sneakers app trying to get their early access pair that they were granted and then the apps for foot action champs and Foot Locker were all messing up the day before people were unable to get into the app I mean it was crazy so you guys let me know what do you think about the the recap what do what happened in your market you know we know they're pretty much we know they're sold out online what do you predict the market will do and this is it's, it's a guessing game there's a risk and reward to this sneaker game but it's the era we're in. It's the one we gotta live with. I don't see any point in really complaining about it, alright? So, well, complaining past maybe what I partially did for this video. I'm a work in progress too, so don't blame me. But thank you guys for watching this. Peace.